Hi, love bugs! Ooh, I just lost my voice there for a second. Um, today's video, I wasn't really going to call it a haul because it's not like that big of a haul or anything. It's very, very little. Um, but I was going to do some chit chat and um, I decided I wanted to know more about my subscribers. Um, just like out of curiosity, like I had some questions. I kind of want to get to know you guys. Um, obviously, I read all of my YouTube comments and I respond to all of them as well as long as they are not hate because yes, no matter how many subscribers you have, you will receive hate. So, um, first I'm just going to get into the items that I got before I start asking my questions for you guys because I allow you to ask me questions if you want to know anything. Um, if you want, I can do another um, question and answers video for you guys, but if you want that, you're going to have to let me know down below because I think I only got like five questions the last time that I did one, and it's kind of boring when it's only five, and it makes for a really short video. So, um, we went to a store called Gordman's. I don't know if everybody has these. This is actually new in um, my town or state. I've never even seen it anywhere in my state. But it's like a, it's almost like a TJ Maxx, except for 5,000 times more organized than a TJ Maxx. So I prefer this one over TJ Maxx, although TJ Maxx has more of the rare items that you may not find. Um, but Gordman's is like way bigger, I guess you could say. But anyway, so um, we got... <laughs> the Rev Coffee for the Keurig. We have been finding this at Gordman's lately, which is crazy because it is so hard to find this at any store. You can order it online at BestBuy.com, but quite personally, we hate Best Buy and we don't shop there. Um, and then I got this for my makeup room. It is just this super cute little owl and it says sparkle. And the word sparkle is literally all black glitter and I just thought this owl was so adorable. Look it. How cute is he? So this is going to go in my makeup room. We were going to start on it this weekend, but then we had like a birthday party and a bunch of other crap to do. And Saturday we laid on the couch in our PJs the whole day and watched Revenge. That made for a good day. I needed a relaxed day, like a me day where I didn't have to do a damn thing. And then I also got, um, this is a car charger and you plug a USB into it. I have tons of USBs and, um... The car charger that I have right now is like, it only works half of the time. It doesn't like stay in the cigarette lighter plug-in. Um, oh, and I got my nails done. Some spidey webs. It's not really what I was going for. She kind of did a, a little bit of a crappy job. This one looks better. But they're cute. I like them. They look just like my nails any other time. And then we got a pair of pants for hubby and he wanted these because the pockets have like Maltese crosses on them which is something that he's totally a fan of by the way and he's got a tattoo of one on his arm too so um, he doesn't usually wear this style pants which is weird that he wanted to try them on but they were only $24 and I think that's a really good deal for a pair of jeans. Um, $24 is not bad. I obviously forgot something in my haul, and I'm not sure where it's at, so I will be right back. I think. Okay, so I don't usually go to Goodwills, and it's just a personal preference. I'm not a high-end girl, like, when it comes to, like, clothing or brand names or anything. Um, shoot, I got this sweater for, like, really cheap, I think. Yeah, I paid like $5 for this sweater at like an Aeropostale or whatever, but I'm not like a brand name person and I do like cheap deals, but I hate the way every Goodwill I go into smells. It smells so nasty to me. Um, I did find a Halloween costume there last year. It was actually a prom dress and I like did some things to it to make it my Halloween costume because I was the Ice Queen. Um, and Halloween's coming. I'm so excited. I love Halloween. It's like one of my favorite holidays. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything for it this year. Last year I got really wasted and I rarely drink so I went a little overboard last year and then I suffered for like three days, four days afterwards. It was terrible. Um, but we decided 
We were trying to kill time before we went and ate dinner because we weren't like super hungry. And we did go into this Goodwill about an hour away from my house. And they had this um, pink vase. And usually I was, I would be like, eh. But this is like really thick. Can you see how thick this is? And literally this thing has to weigh at least 15, 20 pounds. It is heavy. And it had a sticker on it for two dollars. So I was like, this would go absolutely perfect in my makeup room. And I can decorate it with bedazzles and whatever. So I ended up getting that. And then this did not have a price on it. So I was a little concerned. But it's like one of those photo boards and it's huge. Like, can you see how huge that is? And you can like slide your pictures underneath the ribbons here and put whatever you want in there. Concert tickets, movie tickets, um, photos, uh, magazine clippings, articles, whatever you want. Um, but, oh, and the sticker came off. It was rubbing all over my stuff over here. Anyway, this was from Hobby Lobby originally. And I know Hobby Lobby sells these for $29.99. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, no way. And there was no flipping price on it. So, like, I got up to the counter and I was like, could you tell me how much this is? I was like, because it doesn't have a price on it. So she called her manager out and her manager came out. And I was expecting, you know, it's from Hobby Lobby and it's expensive. I was thinking at least, like, 5 to $8. And she slaps a tag on it for $2. So I was like, oh my god! I was so excited. I just got that for two bucks and that's going to go in my makeup room as well. I'm like getting so many things for my makeup room right now. It's absolutely crazy. Um, and I'm going a little bonkers. So hopefully I can fit everything in there when the time comes where I'm actually going to be doing it. I'm painting it pink and it's actually going to have, um, I think almost every wall is going to be different because that way I can like change up my background when I'm recording videos. It's going to be my makeup room slash recording room um, for those of you who do not know. And I went into the newest Victoria's Secret and the way it looks it's so pretty. It's got like the pink, light pink and dark pink stripes and then there's black crown molding. Um, every room in my Victoria's Secret is different and very beautiful but I really like the pink stripes with the black crown molding so I think I'm actually going to go that route, and uh, it might only be on one wall. I'm going to do black trim and black crown molding everywhere on every wall, but um, on one wall it'll look like that. And then on another wall, I think I'm going to do like just solid pink and probably like literally chuck glitter at the wall so it sticks to the paint when it's wet. Um... For the most part, everything's going to be pink, black, and white, and glitter, obviously. So I've been making do-it-yourself things for it and buying all kinds of stuff. Um, now that I have completely lost track of all of the questions that I wanted to ask you guys, I guess I'm just going to pull them off from the top of my head. And they were, some of them were questions that I was just curious about what you guys thought, what your opinions are. So one of my questions is, do you guys notice when you watch YouTube, um, in particular beauty gurus, beauty channels, whatever, do you notice how often they wear the same shirt or do you not even pay attention to that? I was wondering this question myself because honestly I've never actually paid attention to if somebody's worn the same outfit. And I know in like my last three videos I wore the same shirt, but that's like the first new shirt I've gotten in a really long time and I really like it and it looks really good on me. So I wore it, okay? Guilty is charged. I'm a repeat offender. Um, but personally, myself, I've never noticed anybody else what they're wearing actually. I don't really pay attention. I always watch their videos to see like what they got or um, their answers to like a tag video or any of that. Um, when, uh, I'm trying to think of the other questions, I had some really, really good ones. I could just sit here and not say anything. Oh, so, I don't know if I mentioned in one of my other videos, but within the last two weeks, I went out to my car and there's a huge dent in the side of the passenger door 
which looks like somebody opened their door and slammed it into my car. You know, usually if it's just like a little bitty dent, you're like, okay, whatever, don't notify the person. But it's really noticeable and it's really bad. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's there and it's really noticeable and it drives me crazy. I look like I have like dirt right here or something. It's just, it's just a shadow on my lip or something. I'm sorry. Um... So then, two days ago, um, we went to get in our new vehicle. Um, it's technically, it's my husband's vehicle because it is the vehicle that he wanted and he needed a vehicle to drive in the winter time. But it was on the passenger side door and somebody, I don't know what happened, we just got the damn car and it was not there before. But somebody's door must have slammed into it, and this dent is even bigger than the one in my car. And the fact that, like, okay, this, the new car that we got is only three years younger than my car, which my car is a 2004, and I got it when it was brand new, so I've had it for quite some time, and it's still holding up, thank God. I hope it still holds up for at least another five years. Um, but his is a 2007, and it looks... 10 times better than my car, but I think it's because um, the whole bottom of the vehicle is plastic instead of metal and like mine is starting to like rust out. Not like too horribly bad, but like here in Michigan, the roads with all of the salt, the salt just eats away at your vehicle. And you see it on every vehicle in Michigan. People down south don't usually see this kind of stuff. But the salt does eat up your vehicle, and if you don't wash your vehicle 24-7, like, especially in the winter time, then your car's really going to start rusting out. And I did not wash my car. Um, when I do get a new car, I'm actually going to take full responsibility at doing that all the time because it's going to make your car last longer and the resale value will be so much better. But the fact that there's this huge dent in his door already and we just got the car. And mind you, it was $13,000. It's not like we just pulled out a lot with a hoopty. Um, oh, it just makes me so mad. And, like, I notice it every time I get in the car. Because usually he's driving it. Um, I kind of like that he's driving now because I'm always the one driving and I'm always looking. Like, I can never look to see what's going on around me when I'm driving. I'm always paying attention to the road. So it's kind of a nice change of scenery for me. But I'm so pissed off about that dent in the door. I'm hoping that I can just get like a huge suction and we can like pull the dent out. But what's it to say that that's not going to happen again? Um, I'm trying to think of more questions. What is your guys' favorite season? Like spring, fall, winter, summer? I mean, I know a lot of places don't have four seasons. <laughs> they have like spring and summer which would kind of be nice, but I don't like the heat. Um, but like right now, all of our leaves are changing and it looks so pretty. Uh, a lot of my coworkers want to go on a color run on our motorcycles and um, just go for a really long drive. But it has gotten super cold here. Like yesterday and the day before, I believe it reached like 42 degrees and that was it. And it was cold, but I enjoy that kind of weather. I love you know, the fall weather, or autumn as some people call it. Um, questions, questions, questions. Yeah, this kind of sucks because I really had like 10 questions that I really wanted to ask you guys. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I guess this is all I'm going to have in my video. Sorry I couldn't come up with more questions, but I really do want to get to know you guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down a bunch of questions that I want to know about you guys, and then I will make a video that way, so that way I don't forget the questions that I would like to ask. So anyway, I'm sorry that this video was long drawn out and boring for some of you. Um, for others, I know you love my little chit chat videos, and um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.